Hello, these are also vegan. Wait, wait, what am I doing? Oh my god. Oh, where is the mute button? Where is, there it is. Hello, decided to vlog today. Don't know why, looked like this. Had planned on doing a lot more by now, but we are in lockdown, so whatever happens in a day is a success and you've achieved something if you've done anything, even just sat and watched Netflix all day. I had wanted to have done my makeup, been to the shop and everything by now, but I've had a bit of a disaster with work and I've been on the phone all morning trying to sort out payroll. Exciting jobs for retail management and trying to do it from home as well is actually quite stressful because I haven't got any of like my normal information. So yeah. <laughs> That's been fun. Just had a knock at the door, which means my parcel has arrived and I've ordered some vitamins. I think it's them trying to be healthy. So let me get those and then I'll do a vitamin haul. That's exciting. That's so exciting. Oh my God. Okay, bear with me. Yeah. I've just perched you on Ben's diary. Come on Anyone else's dog got extremely needy because Delilah is. And nosy. Can I get in this without scissors? That's the question, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's the question. Yes is the answer. I ordered some vitamins from Holland and Barrett because I want to be healthy. And I've never tried any of these. This is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Let me know if you've used any of these or if you know anything that's better anyway i got um the together women's multivitamins um and minerals whole food supplement i believe this has like b12 and everything like that in it yeah there's a lot of stuff in this these are also vegan by the way if you're interested they are free from wheat live yeast so if you're gluten free as well i believe that's okay yeah they're free from gluten free milk products lactose um and gm ingredients so if you're vegan these are good for you too. It's not focusing. Yes, yes. I also got some B12, separate B12. Although I think I'm gonna have to use these separately because there's B12 in this and this is a pure B12 and I feel like that might be too much B12. Let me know. I know nothing about vitamins. Don't really take them. And then I also got, because I've heard so much about these, I got the Hair Burst Chewable Hair Vitamins. Um, so this is like for your hair, obviously, and your nails and things like that. They're strawberry and blackcurrant flavoured. And I've got 60 in here. And it's meant to make your hair lovely. Start your hair journey with Hair Burst today and fall in love with your hair. Well, let's hope so. Let's hope so. Also talking about hair, if you follow my Instagram, I started using a shampoo and conditioner called Bam Beauty. And it's meant to help with thinning hair. I've been using it for a week and I've actually already noticed... A difference so like my hair is extremely thin like around the crown and it's just very limp and doesn't really have much life right now it looks awful because I've just let it dry naturally I've already noticed a difference in a week and I've been washing my hair every other day which is really bad but just to kind of make myself feel a bit better I've been putting a bit of effort into myself this week because the last like three weeks I haven't and I started to see like a massive decline in my mental health so I started to make a bit more of an effort with myself hence vitamins and everything like that you are so tediously balanced that i'm a bit nervous and may have to change you <laughs> look at this so you're currently um balanced on my sensation now box bag which is curved and a polaroid camera it's a bit wobbly i think i'm gonna change it so as i have all the time in the world i thought i'd show you what i've been doing for like my everyday skincare routine which i wouldn't really call skincare routine but i use something so we'll go with it and like my super basic makeup that i've been doing so i haven't really uh, the first three weeks <laughs> i didn't wear makeup at all maybe once or twice i put foundation on for the first time like a week ago and i hated it like it made my skin feel horrible it felt really like clogged and dry and it went really flaky and it was just nasty so i've stopped using foundation and i'm just using like a concealer and i much prefer that but skincare wise i have been using the first essence from rituals i was gonna go well old school just then it's an everyday like liquid 
and it is for like the radiance of your skin so coloration um it really helps in the morning if you suffer from redness and just like lifting the skin and brightening the skin i feel like i'm at work and i kind of love it because i miss it so much and um, but you put like two drops it's just got like a little dropper two drops in your hand rub it in your hands and then just pat it on your skin this is really good if you literally have no time for skincare and you're lazy like me I'm so lazy. I do that twice a day. I do it in the morning and I do it at night. And it's like my holy grail product. I absolutely love it. And I really think it's kind of, it's changed my skin. Um, I think it's part of the reason why I don't, I like, I like my skin now. And I just use the concealer under my eyes and not foundation all over my face. I then normally go in with a day cream. At the moment, I literally just have little testers. So I've currently got the Ageless Day Cream for firming my skin. You're supposed to start anti-aging at 25, did you know that? Did you know that? Uh, I take like the smallest amount, put it in my fingers, and this will be in. That's it for that. And then I have the Ageless Eye Cream from Rituals as well. I, there's literally nothing left in here. But I just use my ring finger, take the smallest amount, like hardly anything and then just pat it under my eye like so da -da 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 -da. this vlog is going to be the most boring vlog you're ever going to watch also random beauty tip and hack you can use this eye cream and i think most eye creams um as a lip balm i actually find using this eye cream on my lips more effective than a lip balm i actually find hold on <laughs> um you really don't need a lot um i actually find using a lip balm makes my lips more dry does anyone else find that like um they'll be fine for like half an hour and then they suddenly go really sore and crack and horrible whereas if i use that they don't do it but yeah i just pat it into the lip pat it into the lip yeah so i actually and i never ever ever thought i'd ever say this in my whole life quite like my skin now <laughs> um and i used to hate it like i would have full coverage and it wasn't even bad like looking back my skin wasn't bad at all but um i would literally just cake it on like rimmel matte mousse that was uh, my bestie. So I'm gonna, I'll show you what I use and then I'll just do like a super quick time lapse, fast speed. So for concealer, I use the eraser from Maybelline, I can't remember what any of it's called. I need a new one. My auto zoom is not working on this camera right now, but I really like this. I literally go under the eye and on my chin and then whatever's left on the brush I put on my nose. If I use foundation, I've been using the Arbonne foundation love this foundation really really lightweight but buildable and it's also got spf 15 in it mascara as always um maybelline sensational lash in in intense black is it called yeah funny story ordered one of these from boots at the beginning of lockdown took three weeks to arrive i lost it the second day no idea where it is this is my old one that i've been trying to make work it's not working um, on my eyebrows, I use the Naked palette and I just use the colour Faint, which is like a dark one and I just use like a thin brush. Um, I don't do anything fancy with my eyebrows, they need plucking and they need tinting. My god, I miss Shell. Um, then powder wise, I literally just go over with the Stay Matte. Everyone loves this powder, everyone uses this powder. If you don't use this powder and you want a lightweight, easy powder, this one. This is in shade number 5, Silky Beige, but it's only because I've run out of transparent otherwise I would normally use transparent. Then I might do it today. If I want to do a little bit of like color on my cheek, I use the NYX Ombre palette, which I was given as a gift and I love it. It's so nice. Just got the slightly lighter at the top and then the darker pink at the bottom, but it's a really, really pretty color and it's, it's like slight gold shimmer in it and I just do it super, super lightly. So put my powder on, I use the a Bare Minerals brush I got years ago, but just a really small one. I have a small face for my concealer i use the real techniques um which brush is this expert face brush 
really like how it blends it in if i use foundation then i use the arbonne foundation brush this is actually for mineral foundation but i really like um how it blends in the foundation i've got my arbonne eyebrow brush eyeliner brush and then a little random spoolie on an old i've lost this i used to use on my eyebrows it's a rimmel pencil but i've lost a sharpener and i've dropped this so many times now that i sharpen it and it just breaks but i just use this to tame the brows but yeah i'm gonna do it now i bored yet i to ramble too much <laughs> see you in a sec getting so it just looks like a big black blob right now say hi hello <laughs> you being all clingy yeah is it cute mm. nap time for the lilas tell me trust me i can handle it your cousin will come and visit who was that you're on my phone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello. Wait.